Hey going guys, uh, in this video I want to give you a book review of The Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan S. Kennedy. I'm a big, um, I'm a big fan of Dan Kennedy. He's, the way he writes, it's amazing. He's very, he's got the, the no bullshit approach. And uh, if you read some of his stuff, uh, you'll, you'll find that, you know, it gets straight to the point, it gets straight to the point and just gives you really quality um, strategies. Uh, I was talking to my brother the other day and he says that, you know, I mean, he did an MBA and he goes, oh, he wishes that he just, you know, went through, it. he got more value out of Dan Kennedy books than his MBA. So, so there you go. Um, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, fan of writing. Um, I like, um, you know, I like the whole word porn thing and I like it how you can uh, create compelling copy and you can actually persuade people to do things. So, I don't know, it's just one of those things where I'm just really passionate about, I just like writing and I just like, um, uh, yeah, just, 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 just the way words are structured and how you can move people with those words. So that's, I guess that's the reason why I write my books and I write, you know, blog posts and, and articles and yeah, it's just one of those things I just really like doing. So anyway, back to the book, um, The Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan S. Kennedy. If you're, if you're out there and you're trying to um, generate more sales and you're trying to uh, generate more income, uh, you need to write a really powerful advertisement or a really powerful sales letter. Uh, on the internet these days, you may have seen it, you might have seen the uh, the long sales letter where you log in uh, to the web page and you see the headline and just and you just scroll down and see all this content and everything. Um, these days, we've got, um, these days you, you see video marketing, you've got the sideways sales letter where you see different videos and it's structured differently. It's essentially a, a sales letter, but it's actually projected on video. Um, so I believe that sales letters, uh, it's it's diminishing at the moment. However, it's still effective. There's still companies out there that wants you to, you know, uh, create copy that's powerful, that's effective and everything. So, so let's have a look at the book, shall we? In this chapter, um, Dan Kennedy talks about um, understanding the customer. You have to really understand the, the, pop, the problems, frustrations of the customer. For example, um, if you're creating an advertisement, if you're creating a web page that uh, that's trying to sell your products and everything, make sure that you think about the customer th about the customer first. Uh, you might come across web pages uh, or websites that say, "Oh, you know, we're the best at doing this. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best." Right? But they don't really take that time in understanding the pains and frustrations of the customer. So what Dan Kennedy is talking about is. Before you write your advertisement, try and write down all the pains and frustrations, what keeps the customer lying in bed awake at night. Now, you might notice that the, the main pain that people have is either they don't have enough, uh, they don't have that much money, or you know they're broken hearted, or uh, they need to get out of a medical problem, or whatever it is, you, in your market, in your own customer, we call that the customer avatar. You need to figure out, or you can actually do a survey and get this information. But you need to figure out what it is that the um, that the customer is struggling. You know, what what are they going through? What types of pains are they going through? And what and you want to write, you want to list this down. So, for example, um, if I'm trying to sell like a um, a product that helps you make more money from home, uh, the customer would most likely be going through pain working in a nine to five. They hate their boss, they don't wanna be there, they're miserable, they're doing something they're not passionate about, they're not making that much money and they want time, they want freedom, and they wanna stay at home and just build something, right? And earn money from home while they travel. So from there, you can understand the pains and frustrations, right? So from there, you can put together an advertisement or, or a sales letter saying that, um, hey, um, do you want to quit your nine to five job? Do you want to earn money from home? Do you want to travel? Do you want to take your laptop and have a have a cocktail while you're you know making money online or whatever it is, right? You can construct your advertisement like that, and therefore you grab their attention because you have that intimate connection with the the prospect or the customer, and from there they can build trust in you, and therefore you go ahead and then you talk about your your product and service because you've shown that you've understood them. So that's a really interesting section there. Um, so then he goes on in section two, he goes on and he talks about um, uh, how to get into you know, the customer, how to get into the offer as well. Uh, there's another step where he talks about how to get your sales uh, letter delivered. So uh, this might not work uh, these days because this is written in a few years ago, but um, when 
I remember one time I used to create these sales letters. I used to type up these sales letters and I was targeting the hair salon business. And I would actually print out, like, I would get a list of all these hair salons. And I'd get about 100, right? And I would create web design packages for these hair salons. And uh, I remember I wrote the sales letter, I printed it out, I put it in the envelope, and I actually, I, I actually bought a hundred stamps, and I, and you know, I actually licked the stamps, and I put the stamps on those hundred envelopes, and I mailed it out to those hair salons. Now, to get the, um, to get this notice, to get these envelopes and these letters notice, I, I actually cut out a, um, um, I cut out a, 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 some scissors. You know, because as 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 you do right in the hair salon, you you always cut in hair. So, I, I cut out like this uh, this outline of some scissors. So when they open up the letter, these scissors just fall out. So it stops them. It stops them in their tracks. Because if you think about it, a CEO, uh, a boss, right? They they're sitting there, they're working, they they don't have much time, and they get all this mail. They got a stack of mail, and they're going through, and they're sitting there in front of like a rubbish bin, and basically. They, you know, they just glance at it, throw it in the bin, glance at it, throw it in the bin. But when they come across your sales that it grabs their attention, like scissors that falls out, right? They stop and they read whatever you, that you have to read. So, so you have to sort of like tie in some sort of gimmick that will grab their attention and uh, and yeah, make you want to read. So uh, online, I see a lot of people they um they create attention. They grab a lot of attention first, so they might be yelling. They might be yelling on, on the video, or they might show something that's just, you know, that you can't imagine or something. It could be even be a celebrity, but it grabs your attention, and that's enough for you to just, you know, go go through it. Um, if you've ever watched the movie Glenn 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 Garrigan Glenn Ross, um, there's an amazing scene where um, Alec Baldwin, he's a sales manager and he's trying to motivate the, the sales guys to increase the sales. He talks about the technique called ADA. So it's, in, um, so it's attention, interest, decision, and then there's, act, then there's action. So with that one, you wanna grab their attention first because if you don't get their attention, you're not gonna get their 100% you know, attention to read through your, your sales letter or your presentation. So it's very important to grab their attention first when you're putting together these sales letters. He goes on, he talks about writing your first draft. So you want to try and, try and uh, create your first draft and uh, you know, refine it, obviously. Whenever you're writing in a, a sales letter or a, um, an email, whatever it is, people tend to read the PS. Um, they tend to read the PS right after your name first. Um, it's the most attention-grabbing area. And I've been doing this for, mer uh, for a long time because, um, and I do this with just like business emails and everything where you most... You put in the most important message inside your PS. And if you think about whenever you're reading a letter, you do, you, you go through that letter and you just read the PS. So so in the PS, you might say, oh, um, I hope you like this this email. I hope you like this letter. Um, just be sure that you, you take action before April 14th because we only have seven in stock. That's it. That's your call to action. That's your close. And, uh, and that's a good way to sort of like get more attention and to drive in those sales as well. So there's a lot of great content inside this book. So um, there's another step where you use a lot of graphics to enhance. Uh, in, inside your sales letter, you want to use graphics that um, enhance your sales letters, that grab the attention and complement your sales letter. If you're talking about um, dog training, you don't want to just put any random photo of like a, a turtle or whatever it is. You don't have that much time. You want to grab like some sort of image that grabs their attention like a, a dog that's barking you know, an angry dog. So when they're scrolling down, oh, what's this angry dog? I gotta keep reading. So try and use um, photos that spark emotion that gets them to continue reading and that gets them to, um, to you know, just, just to, to spark that emotion, to, to spark that persuasiveness. So you might see, going back to the home business type of advertisement, you want people to be traveling the world, right? So imagine a home business where you're lying on the beach. You wanna use pictures of, of a guy who's sitting there, you know, on a hammock, having a cocktail, that's on his laptop, smiling. So that's a good way to spark that emotion. That if you sign up to this course, I'll show you how you can lie on the beach like this. Um, another key takeaway from this book is that he talks about the million dollar sales secret, sales letter secret, the power of sequence. So um, this is similar to the sales technique that I learned from Grant Cardone as well. So um, in order for you to, I'm going to give you a huge big secret, but um, a lot of things, uh, when, when you're creating a sales letter, when you're creating a, a, a video marketing campaign, 
people, there's out of the hundred percent, there's only three percent of people that will actually take action on the first go. So as soon, so what that means is when they see your sales letter, when they see your video, uh, what they do is they actually take action straight away on the first video, on the first, um, on the first time they see it, they buy straight away. But the other ninety-seven percent. You, there's there's a lot of people there that need to be spoken to on a continual basis before they decide to buy. So that's what Dan Kennedy's talking about in this, is that this is where the money is, is that you gotta have a sequence, you gotta have a follow-up system that keeps on talking to these guys. So don't think about um, sending one email and then all of a sudden you're gonna become rich. No, no. You wanna target the other 97% of people that are waiting for your follow-up messages and that's the biggest secret of all. So I hope um, I hope you learned a lot in this video, The Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan S. Kennedy. It's a, it's a great book. Um, I love this book. I think it's an Amazon bestseller at the moment. And uh, yeah, I, I personally, I believe that the art of writing compelling copy, if you can actually write a very powerful sales letter um, that's compelling and makes people take action and everything, all it takes is just one winning sales letter that will change your life. And this is a worthy skill to try and master and, and learn as well. So highly recommend this, uh, this book. Go check it out. The Ultimate Sales Letter by Dan S. Kennedy. Great book. Go do it.